Hey everyone, we're going to evaluate the definite integral given here. And the first thing we're going to have to do is use partial fraction decomposition. So what we have is uh, 4, let me scoot this over a little bit, uh, 4 y squared minus 7y minus 12 divided by y times y plus 2 times y minus 3. We have three linear terms here. So we're going to set this up as a divided by y plus b divided by y plus 2 plus c divided by y plus 3. Now to clear the fractions, we're going to multiply both sides by this common denominator. I call it the least common denominator. So it's going to be y times y plus 2 times y minus 3 for both sides. Now what happens here, this part just cancels. So you get 4y squared minus 7y minus 12. And then here, when you look at the a, what you're going to write is a. And this y is going to cancel with this y. So it's going to be times y plus 2 times y plus minus 3. This should be minus. All right. All right. Now, um, for your b, put b, the, the y plus 2 cancels. So that's just going to be y times the other 2, y minus 3. And then plus C, this will cancel out. So it's going to be Y times Y plus 2. Now, let's go ahead and let um, Y equal 0. So if we let Y equal 0, and you, um, that's going to eliminate these two. And we can solve for a. So if we let y equal 0, these two will be 0. And you'll get negative 12 equals negative 6a. So a will equal 2. Now, let's, um, since we have a, let's let y equal 3. So if you let y equal 3, um, no, let's do, yeah, we already did zero. If we did z uh, three, that's going to eliminate my B. So let's plug in three here, and you're going to get um, four, three squared is nine, minus 21, minus 12, equals, the A's going to go away, the B's going to go away, because um, this will be zero as well. So you're going to get um, 3 times 5 is 15. That's going to be 15C. And when you simplify that, you'll get C. Um, this will give you 3 equals 15C. So C equals uh, 1 fifth. Now you want to let Y... Let's see, we'll let y equal negative 2. So you let y equal negative 2. That's going to eliminate c. It's also going to eliminate my a here. So let's do negative 2. So that's going to be 4 times 4 plus 14 minus 12 equals, and we're going to find our b. So... It's going to be negative 2. So that's going to equal uh, 10b. So we get 18 equals 10b. So b is going to equal 9 fifths once you divide that out. So now we have our a, b, and c, and we can rewrite our integral. So let's rewrite it as um, 
our integral from 1 to 2, and it's going to be 2 divided by y, that's your a, plus 9 fifths divided by y plus 2 plus 1 fifth divided by y minus 3 dy. All right, so for the first, and we're going from um, 1 to 2. So we're going to get, for this first piece, 2ln of y uh, plus 9 fifths ln of y plus 2 plus 1 fifth ln of y minus 3. And this is going from 1 to 2. So when you simplify this, you're going to get 2 ln of 2 plus 9 fifths ln of 4 plus 1 fifth ln of 1 minus 2 ln of 1 minus 9 fifths ln of 3 minus 1 fifth ln of 2. So this is going to give you um, 2 ln of 2 um, minus, now we have our, um, let's see, this would be plus 18 fifths ln of 2 minus 1 fifth ln of 2 minus 9 fifths ln of 3. And that's just collecting like terms. And finally, uh, when you simplify further, you're going to get uh, 27 fifths uh, ln of 2. Then you're going to get minus 9 fifths ln of 3. Then therefore, we can pull out 9 fifths and write this as 3 ln of 2 minus ln of 3. And that's going to give you, um, remember, we do, we're do we doing our power property here. That's what we've been doing here. So this could be 9 fifths uh, ln of 8 minus ln of 3. We want to keep some, you can simplify it any way you want, but um, if you take it in pieces, it would be like this. And you just make it a single log. So you have all these logs, so you want to combine them by multiplying and such. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.